Differences between New Zealand and the US. Are there differences? Yes, there are a lot of differences. So you're gonna love this video today. I'm going to overview some of the differences. This will be part one and you will want to watch part two next week because there are so many, I had to make two videos. So make sure that you subscribe below and hit the bell because you're not gonna to wanna to miss part two. Here we go. Okay, the first difference between US and New Zealand is the flavor hokey Pokey. It is a honeycomb toffee that they either make as toffee, but they also put this flavor in desserts. So a very common thing is to have hokey pokey ice cream. There's also hokey pokey chocolate here in New Zealand. And in the US, I've never seen this flavor, but in the US we do have the hokey pokey dance. It may be in New Zealand, not sure, but in the US we have the hokey pokey dance. You know, put your right arm in, you put your right arm out, put your right arm in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Hey, that's what it's all about. Yes, you got a little singing out of me today. Another difference between the US and New Zealand is where they drive. In New Zealand, you drive on the left side of the road and driving is generally just also very different. People drive slow here, in my opinion, compared to the US. Well, I'm from the Chicago area, so I'm used to very fast drivers, but they drive slow here because there are a lot of curvy roads. Like they didn't just drive, they didn't create tunnels through mountains. You're actually going up and around the mountains. <laughs> So yeah, so lots of curvy roads. So that's why people drive slowly. They also let everybody in. So when you're driving and there's someone that wants to come in, you gotta let them in in New Zealand. And like people will wait in line. So like if you're getting in line and you're gonna, everybody's taking a left and you wanna take a left, you have to wait in the line. Like, you know, not in the US, we just kind of go up and you gotta push yourself in, push yourself in, aggressiveness. They don't do that here. They all wait their turn. They're very into following the cue. Whereas in the US, very common to drive all over the speed limit, at least like 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. We also drive on the right side of the road. And there are a couple different road rules. For example, in the US, you can turn right on red. And there are some states where there's even different rules, um, but here you can't, you just have to wait. Like here it would be uh, take a left on red, but can't do that, that's frustrating sometimes. But yeah, so drive much faster in the US, but there's also a lot of flat, long, distant driving that's happening. Uh, but you also just drive faster. Like you just, you generally don't get a ticket if you're five to 10 miles per hour over the speed. We're in New Zealand, it is the speed limit. The speed limit is the speed limit. <laughs> so I've gotten tickets that are just a couple kilometers over the speed limit because the speed limit means the speed limit. Whereas when you're a US driver, you're used to going five to 10 over and not having any penalty. So that's an adjustment. Driving in New Zealand is very different than the US. Another difference between the US and New Zealand is tea. There is a lot of talk about tea in New Zealand. There's morning tea, there's afternoon tea, there's dinner is called tea. So if somebody invites you over in the evening and says, hey, you wanna come for tea? They mean dinner, not just tea. <laughs> and so it can get very confusing because you just not used to talking about so much tea when you are in the States. Uh, and it doesn't always mean that you just drink tea, you can drink coffee too. It's just more of a hot drink. Uh, and so it's just very common in New Zealand. But in the US, when you talk about tea, it's more like, spill the tea, girl. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> no, but also the US has iced tea is very common. Sweet tea is very common, which I don't see much of those uh, in New Zealand. You can get them, of course, but it's not as common. So people just drink generally only hot tea. So there's a lot of tea in New Zealand. In New Zealand, they do not refrigerate eggs. Eggs are not refrigerated in New Zealand. And there's lots of places that they're not refrigerated. So why do they refrigerate them in the US? So I looked into this and apparently, once you've refrigerated an egg, it has to remain refrigerated. So they start refrigerating eggs in the US 
uh, because they just it's just for higher safety reasons, then you need to continue. So when you buy, because when you buy eggs in the US, you have to buy them from the refrigerated section and then you have to keep them refrigerated. But eggs in New Zealand are not refrigerated. They are just sitting on the shelf for you to grab and it took me a while the first time I went to look for eggs to find them because I'm looking at all the refrigerated section and it's just sitting on the shelf down a random aisle. Eggs are not refrigerated. Eggs are eggs are eggs are eggs are eggs are not refrigerated. Eggs are eggs are eggs are eggs are not refrigerated. Not refrigerated. Children are much safer in New Zealand compared to the U.S. For example, children can bike to school, scooter to school, walk to school without being supervised. Guys, it's true. Like you you can literally, your kid can just walk out the door and scooter to school and you don't need to take them. As long as they're older, like I wouldn't do that with a four year old or something, but it's amazing. Kids can just get around. My kids can come home from school and they can figure out their route. They can take a bus, they can even take a public bus. Uh, they can do all different ways of getting home. Uh, whereas in the US, don't do that. Don't have your kids walk home from school, bike, scooter, whatever. It's not safe. The safety for children in the US is not the same. So why is this? Well, that's a whole nother discussion, but child safety is amazing here in New Zealand compared to the US where like even sending your kids to school can be dangerous. In New Zealand, they're full of dairies. Yes, there are dairies on every corner here in New Zealand. What's a dairy? If you're American, you don't know what a dairy is. A dairy is like a convenience store where you go to get your milk, your bread, your butter, whatever you run out of. And they kind of have similar things at all dairies. Kind of, it's just like your main convenience store and they have them almost everywhere, <laughs> all over the place here in New Zealand. But in the US, the only dairy is the queen of dairies Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen is just a very popular ice cream place nationwide chain where they make the best soft serve ice cream. <laughs> Everybody knows Dairy Queen. So when you think of it and you're talking to an American and you say, let's go to the dairy, they're going to think the queen, the Dairy Queen, <laughs> the ice cream. Like I'm going to go get ice cream. So good news at the dairies in New Zealand, you can get ice cream but just know that they don't really exist or they don't really call them dairies. They call them convenience stores, gas stations, 7-Elevens. That's what they're called. In New Zealand, they're called dairies. Another big difference between New Zealand and the US is there's no Amazon. There is no Amazon in New Zealand. Yes, they have to buy things the old fashioned way. They have to go to the store, when they order stuff online, things take weeks to come in the snail mail and deliver to their house because we live on an island and everything is either imported or exported here. So yes, there's no Amazon. Whereas if you are in the US, if you're an American and you come to New Zealand, this is one of the biggest adjustments is there's no Amazon because you have to understand New Zealanders out there, you have to understand you buy everything on Amazon. You buy your food, you buy all your toiletries, you buy anything and everything. You can wait till the last minute to buy a present because it gets delivered sometimes the same day, but most everything on Amazon you can buy and you get the next day. <laughs> so you can be like, oh yes, it's my sister's birthday. I gotta get her something. And it's okay if you don't remember till the last minute, <laughs> but Amazon for everything. And it just has a huge variety and you can kind of find everything on Amazon. Now you can have Amazon shipped to New Zealand. About 50% of the sellers on Amazon will ship to New Zealand. So check that out, but it can be a bit expensive. Although Amazon, because they are the biggest retailer in the world, have negotiated really good uh, shipping fees. And so they are more reasonable than I've found other places. So click on the link below and check out my Amazon store where you can buy some of my favorite things on Amazon and they, all these items will ship to New Zealand. So check it out because it's either items that you can't get in New Zealand uh, or items that I think are too expensive to get in New Zealand and it's really nice and you can get them on Amazon and generally the shipping only takes about two weeks to get here in New Zealand. And sometimes it'll say it's going to take four weeks, but generally it always comes way sooner than it even says. So check out my Amazon store in the description below. Okay. So that was part one of New Zealand compared to the U S 
So make sure that you subscribe below because you're not going to want to miss next week where I talk about more things that are different between the U.S. and New Zealand. And there's a lot. See you next week.